I may have sent it a little bit too hard. So the car won't move. This is pretty bad. This is not great. I reckon there's a pretty good chance the diff's blown up. I'm gonna need a tow. Is your open differential making you sad when going around corners? Are your friends constantly making fun of you for your one wheel peels? Do you not have $3,000 to spend on an LSD differential? Well, we might have the solution for you. This is a LSD conversion kit by Racing Diffs. Racing Diffs claim that this kit converts your open differential into an LSD for one tenth of the price of aftermarket LSDs, giving you up to 30% lockup on your rear wheels. Considering the price and the potential performance increase, I'm really keen to see how this turns out. I'm not convinced that it's gonna be very good. Now this kit includes main and friction plates, springs, a pin to lock it together, two oil seals, and the locking tools you need. And it includes instructions, which gives it five extra day crew points. Now this is a relatively difficult mod. If you haven't worked on many cars, this might seem a little intimidating, but if you are DIY car enthusiasts like us, this will be a fun challenge. First step, let's get this diff apart. The first thing we had to do was take the case apart, which quickly got messy. Oh, it's already separated. Oh, this is the money shot. Oh. <laughs> what, is it bad? It's just leaking. It smells like noodles for some reason. Noodles? You know, like, like two minutes, like chicken noodles. So that's inside your differential. So we want to stop it from slipping like that. Wow. One output flange. Two. We then used a set of circlip pliers to try and get out the C-clips, which was way more difficult than we expected and ended up taking us a while to do. But eventually we got those out and then removed the center gears. We then had to undo the bolts. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> there we go. That was so cool looking. Now there's a locking pin in here. There we go. There's a locking pin. So now basically there's two more springs to put in. I'm gonna put the springs in and then use the vise to sandwich it and then use the locking pins to lock it in place. So now all we have to do is just compress the springs together. The reason why we have these locking bolts in, the spring is compressed and then when we put it in the actual diff, we'll unlock it and it will expand back into the diff. So it's nice and tight. With the conversion kit installed, we then had to put the diff back together. that back in. Awesome. Mm. So now we're just gonna add some gasket maker and then we'll fit it flush to the diff. And we couldn't forget to put in a healthy amount of oil using LSD grade differential oil. We then took out the old differential to show you guys the difference side by side. It's lighter than I thought. So here we have the old diff and the new diff side by side. Now how your differential works is power comes through here and it goes out to the wheels here. On this open differential, imagine that one of the wheels has grip which I'm using to simulate with my hand, and this wheel doesn't. Now, if I apply power to the drivetrain, you can see that the one with no grip is spinning, and the one that has grip is not getting much power. Now, when we do the same thing on the new diff, we can see that it's just not spinning as easily. Power is going to both wheels pretty equally. It's not going to be 100% lock up like a welded diff would be, but it's already looking pretty good just with this test. We then put in our new LSD converted differential and tightened everything back up.
We then wanted to see if we could get both wheels spinning when we launched it. With some pretty good results, we began the real test by hitting the track to find out if this kit could improve our drift. Oh God, I've got so much diesel in your car, I'm sorry. Pretty quickly we realized the car handled much better. All right, I'm kind of convinced. It's, it's definitely doing something. It's more like predictable, I guess. All right, I'm definitely getting some lock up. I'm definitely getting some serious lock up. This is, this is pretty fun. I'm enjoying this. 300 bucks? But just as things were looking good, we realized something was wrong with the car. Something's wrong with your car. The steering wheel's really hard. So we quickly pulled the car off the track to have a look. I may have sent it a little bit too hard. Fortunately, it was just a problem with the power steering belt, which we quickly fixed and went on our way. Until a few days later. So the car won't move. Uh, I think we might have to push it off the road. This is pretty bad. This is not great. We were actually finishing up filming for this video, and as we started to drive away, we heard a massive thud come from the car. Yeah, I'm gonna need a tow. Cool, thank you. The tow guy's gonna come in 15 minutes. I reckon there's a pretty good chance the diff's blown up. But it's only been like two weeks. Thankfully, our tow guy came in clutch and we got the car back home. Unsure of what was wrong with our E46, Riley got to work taking the diff back out and I visited him the next day to find out what had gone wrong. So you've already had a look in here. I've had a cheeky look, yeah. I haven't, I've just got back from work and um, we're gonna open it up and see what's happened. There's something going on in there. There's something loose. So? Well, I can see what's happened already. The LSD plates have fallen out. It's like shifted, yeah. There's also the smaller spider gear. See the spider gear here? Mm. So that should be on there. Here. So obviously none of us are experts here, but I would say it's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Expert opinion. We can't tell for sure if this is the mod's fault or if it's our fault, but I don't think it's our fault to be honest. It's not looking good. So we're gonna have a deeper look and get back to you with our final thoughts on this mod. So obviously this was not the outcome we were hoping for. Now we did send Racing Diffs an email with some pictures showing what went wrong. And they came back saying this is a consequence of poor installation. Now that did break my little heart because I thought we did a great job of installing this mod. But also in that email, they included a link to a video named three fatal mistakes users make when installing Racing Diffs conversion kits. In this video was information that was not included in their instruction guides and when the instructions that came with the mod itself. So therefore, I feel like that's not really on us that we didn't know this information. However, in saying that the information included, I'm not sure if that was what would have caused this diff to fail. They offered to send a replacement, but we don't really want to blow up another diff. So they reluctantly send us a refund which is very nice of them. Now, this is just our experience. You might install this mod for yourself and have no problems, but unfortunately, based on our experiences, we're gonna have to say that this mod is an absolute bin. bin. We cannot recommend Racing Diff's LSD conversion kit. Let us know in the comments below whether you think Riley should weld his diff. If you're not subscribed already, hit that big red button so you can keep up to date with all of our car shenanigans. But until next time, thanks for watching.